Hey everybody, I'm Sunny and you're watching Sunny Preps. I've been doing a lot of work in the garden lately and I've done a lot of filming but I haven't pieced it together into one video. So I've created a montage here of everything we've been doing over the past two weeks. So you will see that there's still not much actually growing. So in a week or two we'll have a full garden tour. Hopefully I'll have more things planted or more things at least planned where they will be planted. So enjoy. Today is dedicated to getting the garden ready and I probably should have already had some things in the ground but I've definitely got some seedlings ready to go, some of the um, cold hardy plants, broccoli and cabbage and stuff like that. So they're going in the garden beds but first we have to rearrange some of the arch trellises. I'm actually going to line the driveways with the cattle panels. First thing we have to do is clean the dog poop out of the yard and mow the grass because it's already started growing. I won't even ask you to join me for that part. I'll see you in a minute when that's done. I actually had these all nicely covered up last fall with cardboard and then had the wood on top of it to hold it down to keep the trees when they seed from dropping seed in here. However, the puppy that's not so little anymore decided this is a good place to start digging. Any of you remember seeing Roman last fall when he was a puppy? Well, he's still a puppy, but he's a big puppy. <laughs> okay. All right, stay down. And he dug up and shredded my little fruit trees I planted. I don't know if you can see the sticks down there. So, yeah, there's one with the tag still attached. And I knew he was likely to do that, and I, I let him stay out here because I was busy doing stuff yesterday. So, I kind of feel like it was half my fault. He did spare the pear tree, which is pretty much dead and leafless, except for a tiny little bit of greens at the bottom. Yeah, all right. I see ya. No. All right. So there's the tiny little bit of pear tree that is actually surviving. Hey, you better stay out of there. Everything else is just dead. Uh, I'm guessing it. Oh, thanks. He's watering it for me. I'm going to actually move this out of the fence. These buckets too. They're empty now, so he can't do any damage. But you can see what we've done in the yard. My daughter and I took the trellises off of the raised beds and we moved them over here to the driveway. So this isn't my fence so I didn't want to grow anything up alongside of it but here's the trellises. There's two uh, two cattle panels. Well I found the root balls for the trees that the dog destroyed can see he chewed them up pretty good. This one actually has a couple leaves left on it. But um, I'm not very hopeful that they'll come back. But I thought I'd put them in some water, let them soak for a little while, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put them in dirt and see what happens. But I did buy replacements. Look, we already have peaches on here. Okay. And then I have two different kinds of apple trees because apparently they need cross pollinators. This one says it does not need a cross pollinator. It is a white princess peach. I'm gonna leave the trees um, in the planters they came in for now. When I move and I find a homestead, they're gonna go in the ground anyway. So I have to see whether they need to be transplanted or they just can hang out the way they are for now. And there's the big puppy. And there's the little puppy, Bella. Bella! She's a few years older and she's not impressed.
I have another trellis here. This is the tomato trellis from last year. And I just ran twine from the top down to the bottom last year. This year I have some of this wildlife netting. I had this for actually to keep Bella on the deck we had in the house we used to live in. Um, the deck railing, she was small enough to fit through it. And so we had to put this up to keep her from going between the deck railing, which was only a you know, six inches or so off the ground at some spots, and uh, she could run away. So we put that up, and then we have a lot left over that may end up getting used for the fruit trees. The trees have already started dropping um, seeds, and so I'm going to go through and pick out as many of those as possible and then get a card with a row cover and I have to hurry because there is a storm coming in. It's a tight squeeze in here with the awning, but they made it and I just got two tons of soil dropped off. It's a soil compost mix and I'm going to be filling grow bags as long as it doesn't rain. So yesterday after they drove away um, from dropping the soil, I spent a lot of time just hoping the raindrops would not fall and putting a lot of that soil in all of these grow bags. And I still have a lot of soil left, but I have some low spots in the yard that I can fill, that, fill up with that or I'll get some more grow bags. And I have actually planted some red kidney beans, some blue lake bush beans, and I know they don't need to be under the trellis, but I might move them later. I, don't I have spaces for yellow wax beans, but the seed said to soak them overnight, so they're still soaking. Tigger melon, which I've never tried. Minnesota midget cantaloupe, never tried. Kajari melons, never tried. Um, sugar snap peas, and then Something I saw the other day is that if you put the peas out, you know, good and early, before probably could have put them out even a couple weeks ago, but I didn't have the soil yet. So you put those out good and early. By the time they grow, you harvest, it goes away because it gets too hot. Then uh, if you wait a couple weeks after you plant that and then you plant the cucumbers well after the last frost date, uh, then by the time they grow and start taking over the trellis, the peas will be done. So I did a pea and a cucumber and a pea and a cucumber. I think I will order some more grow pots, grow bags. Okay, what we have so far are onions that wintered over, but they were still really tiny bulbs. So um, if anybody can tell me what I'm doing wrong, please let me know. Here we have onions that were in the pantry that were sprouting. So I thought, what the heck, I'm going to plant them. And here we have my refrigerator garlic that actually was nice and green, but I just don't think it was getting enough sunlight, obviously not enough nutrients. It's got great roots, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in the ground and see what happens. We have not actually officially, this is May 1st, and we still haven't officially crossed our last frost date. Um, one website, I think it said May 3rd, another one said another week later. It's still pretty chilly right now, but so far I've got stuff in pots that I can carry inside. Um, that I started inside earlier and I'm getting them outside now to um, to get more sun because their growth has been anemic. My window that I have to put them in is a west-facing window and it just doesn't get a lot of light because of the geography around here. But I want to show you what I've been doing in the garden because last year in my raised beds I had a terrible problem with my cabbage and broccoli growing because they were just eaten to almost nothing. 
buy something. I'm assuming it was cabbage moths. I don't know. But I'm going to show you what I've been doing to try to uh, stave that off and to keep uh, seeds from the trees falling into them. Okay, so this actually looks sort of creepy. <laughs> but uh, this bed, I actually ended up planting onions and garlic and carrots. Um, and I have boards over top of the carrots to help protect them. I, I had trouble last year with carrots growing, but I think they got just too much shade. And this one, I really, I don't think anything's going to eat those. Um, at least nothing that I'm going to keep out with that little bit of cloth. But um, right now I'm just trying to keep the seed, the trees from dropping their seeds because they just drop tons of seeds into my bed. And then they grow a lot. I have more tree seeds than anything in my garden beds. Now this one, I haven't planted anything in there yet, but I have broccoli and cabbage waiting to go in there. But I am going to build an arched row cover over that. And, uh, but I need to run to the local hardware store first. This one, there's a little trellis under there. So I'm not sure. I actually ended up with so many trellises everywhere else that I may go ahead and take that out. And if I don't have enough room in here for all the cabbages and things, I'll plant them in there. Cause that, and then I can make another arch row cover there. I'm also going to put some cabbages and broccoli in the grow bags. Well, it's turning out to be an absolutely gorgeous day today. You can see I made a rectangle out of two by twos. This is actually a two by four that I just ripped uh, lengthwise. You can see the hinges. I tried to do it into that two by four that's sticking up, but that has been exposed to the dirt a lot and it was not treated or finished or anything. So it's very, even though I just made these last year, they're already very soft. I put the hinges down like this onto the actual fencing slat that I used for the raised bed box. And then of course I've used stiff fence and you can see that the dog did jump on this uh, this morning and got things a little misshapen but I've pretty much put it back in place. We're just gonna have to be very careful while he's out here. Um, but I just have that, I have it going all the way down to try to block where it's there, block little critters. There is of course a gap. I could cover that if I needed to. I have it stapled to the two by two. over here as well and you can see all these staples that are in there I had the cover stapled on here but when the dog jumped on it it got ripped up
Alright, we have broccoli, Chinese broccoli, and Brussels sprouts in here. And I have the perfect little fork stick to hold up the row cover. Well, I know a lot of you are already harvesting, and I hope everybody's at least growing something. And while you're doing that, while you're planning for a busy growing season, keep smiling because a rainy day is no match for a sunny disposition. See you guys later. Thank you.